ask any pregnant woman she is for sure anxious about one thing the labor pains having a baby is not a joke there is lot of labor involved and unfortunately lot of pain involved why is the labor so painful it's because the tissues and nerves in the cervix vagina and perineum are stretching during the contraction and when the baby is coming down in fact providing the pain relief during labor is one of the most important tasks we doctors have during labor there are plenty of choices available but today we will talk about a very effective and a popular method of pain relief the epidural or the epidural analgesia is it safe how is it done when is it given does it have any side effects so hello everyone i'm dr anjali kumar i once again bring greetings to you from methri methri is a space where we talk anything and everything about women's health so what is an epidural an epidural analgesia is a numbing medicine given by inserting a needle and a catheter so what is a catheter it's a small flexible tube into the lower part of a woman's back in the epidural space that's why it's called epidural so epidural space is the space outside the spinal canal where the spinal nerves are exiting now this numbing medicine blocks the nerve impulses resulting in relief from the pain these medicines numb the spinal nerves and create a band of numbness from the belly button to the top of the legs allowing a woman to stay awake and feel the pressure of the labor but without any pain so let's see how is it done so first intravenous fluids will be started before the procedure of putting the epidural an anesthesiologist so that's a doctor who specializes in administering anesthesia usually will administer your epidural you will be asked to sit down and lean forward or lie on your side with your knees up close to your chest then an antiseptic solution will be used to wipe your mid back to minimize the chances of infection a small area on your lower back will be injected with a small anesthetic uh, injection to numb it a needle is then inserted into that numbed area outside the spinal cord in the epidural space after ensuring its correct placement a small tube or a catheter is threaded through the needle into the epidural space after that the needle is removed but the catheter remains inside to deliver the pain medication as needed throughout the labor the catheter is placed and taped to the woman's back and is attached to a special pump which is calibrated to deliver the exact doses of pain medication at regular intervals or maybe as a continuous infusion how do i feel after an epidural injection so the pain relief usually begins 10 to 15 minutes after receiving the epidural and then continues throughout the labor most women report a feeling of drastic relief in the pain many women are so relaxed to the point of being sleepy you might just feel the pressure of the contractions but there is no pain most women can move their legs also can i go to the washroom to empty the bladder with an epidural so usually we advise the women to stay in bed after receiving an an epidural because the decreased sensation in their legs uh makes the legs little wobbly which increases the risk of falling so a bed pan can be given to you to deliver, to empty the bladder at what point during labor can i receive an epidural so earlier we used to talk about that how many centimeters a woman should be dilated before we can give an epidural but today a woman can get an epidural at almost any time in labor however an epidural is generally not given if your baby is just about to come uh, which means if you're already 8 9 cm dilated then there's no point giving an epidural 
there isn't any minimum cervical dilatation the epidural can be given on admission in very early labor too and only a request from the mother is sufficient to give an epidural so what are some advantages of an epidural analgesia so the greatest benefit of an epidural is the potential for a painless delivery a pain a painless experience and an increased motivation for vaginal birth some women might require an emergency c section in the middle of labor so if you already have an epidural place now just a stronger dose of medication for surgical anesthesia can be given through the same catheter the epidurals also help to lower the stress hormone levels which can help lower the blood pressure and heart rate which can actually become elevated because of the labor pains in our experience also epidural helps in expediting the cervical dilatation and labor by allowing the mother to relax epidurals are also known to reduce the chances of postpartum depression will an epidural increase my chances of having a c section no getting an epidural will not increase the risk of having a cesarean delivery however it may slightly increase the risk of a vacuum or a forceps delivery as the mother may not be able to push the baby as hard or as strongly do epidurals cause nerve damage it's extremely rare and occurs in less than 1% of cases this would occur in case the needle is inserted in a long location advances too far or comes in contact with a nerve root however even if that occurs it's usually temporary and usually resolves typically within a matter of weeks does an epidural would ever cause chronic backache no an epidural is not a cause of backache the back pain after childbirth is actually from labor labor is an intense process which involves stretching of muscles and ligaments epidural is not the culprit are there any risks of epidural analgesia epidurals may cause your blood pressure to suddenly drop so for this reason your blood pressure will be routinely monitored to help ensure the adequate blood flow going to the baby in case there is a sudden drop in the blood pressure you might need to be treated with iv fluids medications and oxygen you might find that your epidural makes pushing of the baby more difficult and additional medications or interventions might be needed like a forceps vacuum or a cesarean birth sometimes there could be failed epidural or a one sided pain relief for which we might require redoing the epidural some women find it difficult to empty the bladder while the epidural is in place and might require a placement of the catheter to drain the urine some women may also experience a low grade fever and heaviness or tingling in their legs during labor depending on how much medication has been administered for a few hours after the birth the lower half of your body may feel numb and you might require some assistance to walk when can an epidural not be used if you are on blood thinners if you have low platelet counts if you are bleeding profusely or in shock if you have an infection on or in your back if you have a blood infection if the epidural space cannot be located by the physician if the labor is moving too fast and there is not enough time to place the epidural so as you prepare yourself for the labor day try to learn as much as possible about pain relief options so that you are better prepared to make decisions during the labor whether you plan to use an epidural or not it's your personal choice but it's a good idea to talk to your doctor about the benefits and risks of epidural and other pain management options remember there is nothing as the best or perfect choice when it comes to pain relief in labor we have started a new season of pregnancy series so for all of those who are pregnant do let me know the topic you want me to speak about 
do also watch our entire pregnancy playlist. So stay tuned. Subscribe to Maitri if you have not done it already. Do like, comment and share Maitri and I will see you soon.